Hey everyone, Colin Aglin here and wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to create a list in Aweber. Okay, so um, of course when you log in, one of the first things that you want to do is you want to create a list name, okay, that you're going to be building an email list and you may have several lists uh, when it comes to different types of offers that you're making. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you're up at the manage list tab and then you want to go ahead and click on create a list. You want to give that uh, your company name. You can put in a company name or just leave your name if you don't have a company. Uh, company website, that's not mandatory. Scroll on down. Your name and email address, set it to the ones that you want. Click on next step. Then you give your name a list. So in this example, I will do test list and let's see a description of this list. Okay, so after you put in your list name and description, go ahead and click next again. It's going to ask you to put in a confirmation um, email basically. You can edit it as you see fit, but just go ahead and leave it as a default. Click approve message and create list. Now here's what you want to do. That is for double opt-in, right? So you don't want to have double opt-in enabled right now. So you want to go ahead and go to list options list settings scroll down and uh, let's see uh, sorry click on confirmed opt-in and then scroll down send a confirmed opt-in email for web forms you want to take that off okay so that way you just keep single opt-ins uh, because you're gonna actually have more people opt-in a lot of times when people get a verification email a lot of people don't actually verify their email address so you're just gonna be wasting money if you leave it on double opt-in okay so to make sure that's set to off set that to off as well okay now uh, go ahead and click on save settings now there's one more thing that you have to do if you're doing email integration with another program what you have to do for Aweber is you actually have to give them a call. So just go down here and dial one of those numbers. Give them a call and give them your uh, name and tell them that you want to um, disable confirmed opt-in for um, web page integration. Okay? So tell them you want to disable opt-in, the uh, opt-in, the confirmed opt-in for website integration so they actually have to do that manually you can't do that from here so if you're using you know a program that where you're creating a landing page and then you have your Aweber integrated in there you actually have to call Aweber personally and get them to do that they don't give you any hassle about it or anything but you just have to manually do it okay there you have it